Hey guys, Broker Bears, and welcome back to my hey, a season seven review. Who's for MLP episodes? Who's um? We're gonna work on that intro. Oh, that didn't sound clear at all. But um, yeah. As you will have known, I was unable to review uh, episode four when it happened. You're probably looking at the tiles in four or five. And six? Yeah, for some reason, Canada is like, why not give you two episodes every weekend? So, yeah. Five and th he was out last weekend. I've I've seen five three times. We'll get on to five. Um, seen six. You're probably wondering if they're releasing two episodes. I can't find... A copy uh, or um, an online version of Seven yet. The only one place, the only one link I found was to a was to um, DV, not DV, or um, Daily Motion, but the video wasn't there. It was. It was just this. It was just a blue screen and some characters from our shows. And it was like, this show cannot be shown on day emotion. I'm like, wait, what? I've seen plenty of... People are uploading MLP the episodes to Daily Motion all the time. So, I, I just watched episode 5 again on Daily Motion. And it's telling me 6 isn't... And I watched 6 on there. And I'm like, you're telling me 7 isn't there? You Look, I'll, I'll review them when I find it and watch it and be viscerally disappointed. I don't want to watch Seven, but I will. Anyway, um, as you know, if you've seen my other reviews, you know I am um, playing through um, Arkham Knight while I review the episodes. So... Let's start with episode four. Episode four is the episode with simulation failed. Mod wanting to apparently come to Ponyville. She may be uh, moving to Ponyville. I have waited for this night. Um, so, what, this is the episode where, uh, Binky is, like, trying to convince Mod that Moon Point Evil is, um, what she should do. Who? Um, for... Her future, you know, she she wants. She says, because she wants to have someone to talk to about. Oh, rocks. Simulation failed. And, um, Pinkie Pie shows us that the train is possessed. Or something, because weird. I, I don't know what the hell she did. It, she suddenly changed her main style into mod, similar to what Rainbow Dash did in the uh, Griffin episode. So, if you guys remember. Um. With, uh, with Twilight, so I don't, I don't know what the deal is there. Or... Um, oops. Um, yeah. So, oh, hoping if I spend some time where her sister trying. Yeah, yeah. 
Joe Carter, you know, the the uh, benefits of staying in Ponyville and living in Ponyville. Obviously, he pink. He is clearly just, you know, trying to get mod there because, you know, in no pro, for, from what I can gather, she can visit her family anytime. I mean, it's, there's no, it's not like she's not allowed to visit her family whenever the hell she wants. She can visit them anytime. But, you know, obviously, he would, uh, her job at Sugar Cube Corner and just. Uh, possible cutie map um, missions that could come are uh, obviously she can't just you know up and she doesn't know you know she can easily be called if she is you know visiting her family the uh, Q map could summon her and you know that time would be cut short. Obviously her 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 motive, you know, it's 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 a good motive, you know. There's not it's not like she's doing something you know, she she clearly you know she's what she's doing is she thinks moving to go will you know she, she thinks Mod like Ponyville and she's trying to show Mod the benefits of living in Pokemon. Oh, which I'm sure deep down from, from I don't know in uh, her emotionless this state I'm sure Mod appreciates what she is trying to do. So so Starlight is uh brought into the fray. Simulation fail. And I really dislike the fact that they brought in Starlight. I mean is it, was was it, was she really necessary to the uh to the to the uh to the story? You know, I mean it was I guess interesting to see uh, Starlight wouldn't have been able to take over the town and, uh, that she was in charge of that she had taken over if not for learning about the, the special rock inside the cave from Mod um, and Mod's, Mod's odd response was oh she didn't do it recently though which everyone was like, yes, she did. And for some reason, Pinkie Pie does not say this. Pinkie Pie doesn't say, oh, but she, she fucking brainwashed me he and some and the other, and almost all my other friends except for Twilight. He, she stole our him, our, our, she almost, she went back in time and almost ruined history or some, or however she would. Describe that. Yeah. Starlight has done some bad shit, but Pinky was like, "Um, I guess you're right." For some reason, I don't, I don't know why. Pinky, and, and you know, well, it was, it was awkward seeing Starlight, you know, gang trying to get along with, with um. Simulation activated. <laughs> We've seen Starlight interact with whoops with um with member six's extended family before. She had that moment with Big Mac. Um Twilight at the start of season uh, five with Starlight 
possible first friendship problem solving would have been going with the CMC, which would indicate that she has met them. I mean, she met Big Mac. I'm assuming she met Apple Bloom as well. And probably Granny as well. Maybe, or I don't know. I don't know. They, they didn't show a whole uh, you know, they, uh, that's, that's completely unrelated. Um, yeah. I, I feel Starlight was forced into this episode. Um, I was talking to a guy on Twitter, and he said he felt like Starlight was being forced into episodes that, you know, she could have been excluded from. And I feel like there was one, one episode in this... Simulation activated. Them, ...that indeed she was kind of like forced into this episode. She didn't really need to be there. And there's another... And, um, there's another one coming up. The, uh... The upcoming Celestia and Luna episode. Who, of course, it's Starlight saying off the plot again. Um... I don't understand why they need to, and I, I feel it too, you know, that Starlight is being forced into these stories when, you know, she, she could be excluded, you know, on one hand you could say, okay, I could see Starlight being involved in this, kind of, but does she really need to be here? Does she really need to be in the story? Does she really need to be here at this time doing this? Like, feels, like I said, it feels very forced. It feels very... We'll try something. Yeah. And, uh, it was pointed out to me that it feels like what they did with Twilight in season one, where she was forced into episodes that she didn't need to be in according to some people, but in this case, I think she was forced into the episode with uh, Maud. I think, you know, you could have done the episode without Starlight there whatsoever. I really don't understand why she was there. There was absolutely no, no reason she should have been there. Her, um, but yeah, I'll, oh no. Oh, I think the episode was a bit of a disappointment. Pure because I do feel like Starlight was forcibly inserted into the episode. I, th I don't think she should have been there. I think it should have been a more Pinkie Pie and Maude episode. You know, focusing on Pinky's attempts to uh, help um, on out. I mean, you know, you could have had Starlight. You know, she could have met with Starlight. You didn't have to include like unnecessary. Oh, they uh, they already know each other. I mean, Pinky uh, maybe should have gone around town trying. Find someone who, like, could be a good friend for Maud. Surely there's someone. I mean, maybe Doctor Who's would be a good option. You know, because he's into all that. Simulation. I don't know. I'm throwing out shit random here, but. It, it, it really did like they were forcing Starlight into this episode, and it really, really dragged the episode down, in my opinion. Um, I just feel like she was forced into this episode. Look. Look. I mean, you could have debuted a new character who, you know, Never been seen before, but you know, Pinkie Pie can tell us who he is. You know, uh, he he knows this and this about rocks. Super smart. I don't know, or you know, something. But it's just Starlight, I guess, was like the easy 
the option, but to me, it really felt like she was forced into a story that didn't really need her. You know? I, I, I wish I felt different, but I really think Starlight was forced into a story she didn't need to be in. I mean, let me know your opinions. Something. Am, I, am I looking at it the wrong way? I know better. I know there is some line that... Maybe people... I mean... Used to cross. I, don't, I don't hate Starlight. You know, I've come to accept that she's not going to go anywhere. She's not going to be a one-off character. She's the main character, and that's the we're going to have to deal with, where you like her or you don't. Um, it's just Riddler, sad that... Talk while you still can. I really felt oh, that leg, I know. she was yes, forced into this episode, and from the sounds of it, they're not done forcing her, forcing her into episodes that, you know, could be good without her. I mean, without her, I, I, I could have seen this episode being a really good one. As it is, I just can't help think this episode would be better without Starlight. Nothing really wrong with this episode other than I feel like Starlight's inclusion was unnecessary. I really don't want her to be forced into episodes she doesn't need to be in. And that's. I feel like that was the case with episode 4. And uh, I'm gonna. I gotta, I gotta get on to. Um, Episodes 5 and 6 before I, I just go on a complete fucking rant. Bottom line, I, I think Starlight shouldn't have been in this episode. It should have been done differently. And it really dragged down the episode. But I can't give an episode a bad rating just because she was in it. Um, but I, I think she shouldn't have been. I can't do it because the bad. Ray games are supposed to be for episodes that I think were just god awful and just couldn't be watched. I mean, you couldn't, can watch this. I'm gonna probably watch it again. All in all, there is nothing truly wrong with the episode other than I do feel like she was the way I see it, thrown in just for the hell of it, you know. Just it almost feels like they're like, oh. Uh, we're adding this new character, so she's got to make up appearances, you know. Get her, like, level with Discord or some shit. Yeah. You see the bad car? I'd like to go for a tour ride, man. I, I, I don't know, but I'm not going to give this episode a bad rating just because Starlight's in it. I'm going to give it a 6, which is the best rating I can give. It's a fair rating. It's... Mediocre. This episode, oh, it's not bad because Starlight, but I think it could have been done differently if Starlight was involved, or wasn't involved. Sorry, uh, that's just my opinion. So that was episode four. Any word from inside? Uh, episode Nothing. five. We think there's Which a is, um, crew left in there, but they're not responding, and the facility's locked down. If they're still alive, I'll find them. They should be able to tell us what Scarecrow's up to. Which was, um, the hell? Um, Time to die, old man. I'll be, um, he has nothing left to I'll be right back.